Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about Gen C assessment updates. Like uh, Cognizant has started sending the assessment emails for the new phase. That is your communication assessment, techni uh, technical assessment and aptitude assessment dates. So make sure to watch the video till complete and as I will be discussing all the important details as well as there is some small or minute details in the exam pattern which uh, I will be discussing in this video including your syllabus. So without wasting any time let's get started with today's video but before that if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you on daily basis. And guys if someone is not aware I have a complete playlist on Cognizant Prep make sure to check this playlist you will find actual questions from Gen C assessment in this playlist. So let's see the first thing today that what we are going to discuss. So first of all we are going to talk about the introduction and the timeline of the assessments then we are going to talk about phase wise desk details and then we are going to talk about communication assessment, aptitude assessment and technical assessment syllabus and the new updated pattern also then i'm going to talk about selection process and finally some important tips for you to crack the examination so let's get started with the email that the candidates have received for you know your gen c assessments what does this email says it says dear candidate greetings from cognizant we are pleased to share you that you are eligible for the next steps in the hiring process and are scheduled for an aptitude assessment on 22nd May. So guys, if you see, aptitude is, this time is happening on 22nd May and guys, uh, I will also be posting like, you know, preparation questions on my channel and there is very, very high chances that the actual, uh, the questions that I will discuss in that video might repeat exactly same. Okay. So make sure that you please prepare from those aptitude video because there is very high chances that the questions are going to repeat. Now. It is also mentioned that you will receive an email from the superset and then the email ID is mentioned with the assessment link as per the slot along with all the details required to perform the system readiness check in advance. Kindly keep a close check on your registered email ID. So and then they have mentioned two more dates which means for communication assessment the assessment is happening on 23rd of May and then tech assessment is this time is happening on 27th of May. Okay. So these are the new dates of the assessment. Okay guys. Now let's discuss first of all the syllabus for all the assessment. Now guys. Uh, before we discuss the syllabus, it is an important point that Cognizant is always conducting its hiring in phases, especially for Gen C. When candidates are receiving the assessment emails in groups or phases. So if you haven't received any email yet, don't worry, you, more phases are on the way. So you will also get the like you know assessment emails in the upcoming time. Now the hiring process is basically going to include three main assessments. First one being your communication assessment. Okay, so let's understand that. So this time the communication hap uh, is happening on 23rd of May and duration of the assessment is going to be 58 minutes. Total questions that you are going to get is 77 questions. Now there was a lot of confusion between the sections. So let me clarify it for you that there will be four sections. In first section you will be having reading and listening where you will be getting 23 questions. Then in second section you are going to be having a topic in which you have to speak and you will have four questions like such and section C is going to have English grammar on which you will have 34 questions and section D is going to have comprehension for which you will have 16 questions and guys if you are not aware what kinds of questions will run I will uh, like you know upload a video where actual questions will be there you will also listen to the audio kind what kind of audios uh, like you know like gets uh, repeated and how you have to answer those types of questions so make sure that you subscribe to the channel and uh, keep an eye whenever I upload a new video next type of assessment is aptitude assessment so guys once you like appear for your aptitude uh, communication assessment after that you have to give your aptitude assessment also now this time what is happening is aptitude assessment is happening first and then communication assessment will happen now you know i have heard previously that a lot of guys have this confusion that you know are these three assessment like you know elimination rounds in itself so guys no it is not like that all the assessments you will appear for it and finally based on the performance in all the three assessments you will be shortlisted for a role so don't consider that you know based uh, like all the single assessments are elimination round it is not like so so this assessment will happen on 22nd of May. Duration is going to be 80 minutes. First one, you are going to have quantitative aptitude where you will be having 30 questions and 30 minutes to solve. And second one will be game based questions where you will be having four challenges. You will be getting around 36 minutes. And what type of challenges will come? Switch challenge, gap challenge, motion challenge and CLX challenge. I have already covered all the types of questions in the Cognizant Prep playlist on my channel. If you haven't checked that, make sure to check it. I will upload more videos with more practice questions. So make sure to check those videos that I'm going to upload it soon. 
नेक्स्ट इज योर थर्ड टाइप ऑफ असेसमेंट विच इज गोइंग टू बी टेक्निकल असेसमेंट विच इज गोइंग टू हैपन ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवंथ ऑफ मे एंड यू विल बी असाइन अ क्लस्टर बेस्ड ऑन थ्री क्लस्टर्स नाउ यू नो लेट मी क्लियर यू वन मेजर कन्फ्यूजन राइट हेयर इट सेल्फ दट यू नो मेनी ऑफ द कैंडिडेट डोंट इवन नो दे थिंक दट वट एवर क्लस्टर दे हैव चोजन दे विल गेट द सेम बट इट इज नॉट लाइक सो कॉपीज ऑलरेडी मैंशन इन देर नोटिफिकेशन दट दे आर गिविंग यू द ऑप्शन टू चूज द क्लस्टर बट द फाइनल क्लस्टर अलॉटमेंट विल बी इन देयर हैंड विच मीन्स दट इवन दो इफ यू आर सेलेक्टेड फॉर पाइथन क्लस्टर देर इज नो गारंटी दट यू विल गेट द सेम क्लस्टर द चांसेस आर वेरी हाई दट you will get a different cluster other than python or the one that you have registered so that is why it is very important that you make sure that whatever cluster you have got how can you now know which cluster you have received so guys whenever you give get the assessment link when you click on that okay on the first screen itself it will be mentioned like cl1 cl2 cl3 based on that you can understand which cluster you got okay and don't worry like you know some students have this doubt that you know if we click on the link before the assessment time uh, the assessment will start no it is not like so you are not starting the assessment you are just checking which cluster you have got on the first screen itself it will be mentioned so according to that you can know okay now let's talk about the main important thing so if you have got cluster 1 which is based on java so you will be getting two coding questions which you have to solve in java then two sql questions and then one html or css question then if you have got cluster 2 which is python then you will give be getting two coding questions which you have to solve in python two sql questions okay and sql means sql query based question and then three uh, the third point is uh, 10 cloud fundamental mcqs All the types of actual questions are covered in the cognizant prep playlist. Make sure that you make use of it and appear for it. Next is your cluster three, which is C sharp cluster, in which you will be having two questions based on C sharp, and then uh, second is two SQL questions, and then one HTML, CSS, JavaScript question. So guys, in this way, uh, this was your syllabus for technical assessment. Now let me clarify the entire selection process. Okay, from starting to ending, how it will look like. First of all, what you do is you register your, uh, like you register on the super set, and then you upload your resume. So your resume get screened, and after screening, who's whoever's resume get shortlisted, they receive these three. you know assessment emails uh, like assess assessment emails of communication assessment aptitude assessment and then technical assessment after that you will get your online technical interview these days it is happening virtual that's why i have written online previously one or two months back it was happening in offline which means in office that is why now after you have given your interviews based on your performance in all the rounds that is you know communication aptitude technical and interview you will be assigned a role if you have got a gen c next which means your package is going to be 6.75 lpa then gen c pro is the middle range and then gen c is the basic one okay so in this way your profile like final decision of your profile will be taken after all the assessments and interviews are com completed and guys there are no offline interviews this time everything includes interview will be conducted online your assessments your interviews everything will be online the complete hiring process itself is online now guys before we close the video i have some important final tips for all of you okay uh, let's see what are those first thing is keep checking your emails regularly for updates from superset or cognizant it is very important in along with that even check your spam folders also because sometimes your you know email goes to the spam folders next is your perform the system readiness check well in advance because it is very important and because you know so sometimes let me tell you one more thing sometimes what happens is when you will give the assessment your assessment will break in between and you will come out of the assessment so in those situations you don't have to get panic what you have to do is you have to resume your assessment as soon as possible because there is a minimum time frame within which if you restart your assessment it will can resume or continue from the same step where you have left it okay uh, okay next the third point is attempt all the three tests that is communication aptitude and technical they are mandatory to proceed in your hiring process don't share false information in your profile it can lead to rejection practice communication quantitative and basic coding daily it is very important prepare for online interviews have a good internet setup comment your exam date below uh, because you know in the comment section so that we get to know which phase you are Uh, getting your assessment form and also mention your assessment dates okay for which date you have got the assessments for communication apt and technical based on that i will upload more videos related to the practice preparation uh, questions okay so guys i have tried to cover almost everything in this video if there is any more doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will answer all your doubts you can also join me on telegram and follow me on instagram make sure to subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest regular updates from my channel that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time bye